so here's the thing with no, no fap. If you guys don't know what it is, it's called you know, masturbating uh, or masturbating to porn. Okay, fap. Now, porn, I have a different take on it, but let's just say the masturbation part. Uh, here, here's what happens. So, <laughs> let's get a little technical with this, this fapping. <laughs> Everyone, every guy and every girl, every once in a while, you're inspired to come. You kind of want to come. Why? Just cause. Because it feels good and why not? We all like to come. And we'll just define that. Coming out of inspiration. You are inspired to come authentically, <laughs> genuinely. We'll put the little I. Inspirational fapping. That's, you know, humans. Now what happens though is that because it feels so good, it's also very to easy to use as an escape. And that's when you run away from all the shit that you hate about yourself, and then it turns into fapping out of desperation. So sometimes you're genuinely inspired. You feel fucking awesome, and you just want to fucking come. Hell yeah. Sometimes you feel shitty. Sometimes you're sitting at home, and you feel kind of bored. And you're like, oh shit, I fucking hate being with myself. Maybe if I come, I'll forget for a little while. And then you just come. And desperational fapping is you need it. It's like a fucking drug. And you're like, I must come, I must come, I must come, and you just can't not come. This is what you kind of want to get rid of. This is that escape, okay? Now, with no fap, what it says is, just stop fapping altogether. Let's just get rid of all of this. Never fap. Do a no fap challenge. Don't masturbate for a fucking year. <laughs> now, as a stepping stone there, if you're someone who's just fapping so much you just can't function in society, <laughs> no fap is awesome for you. You need no fap. Like if that's all you do, you're hanging out with your friends, like one second, need to go fap real fast. Like, like you can't get a job because you're fapping the whole time at work. <laughs> if that's the case, don't fap. Don't fap. However, realize that it doesn't get to the cause. The cause is the shit you hate about yourself, the stuff you're running away from. Get to the cause, stop running away from it, and then you'll remove the fapping out of desperation and all you'll be left with is the inspiration fap. <laughs> That's the key, you know? Thank you. And it's the same, by the way, with, um, it's the same with eating too, by the way. It's like, we're all human. We're all inspired to eat to survive, okay? There's eating, inspirational eating. But then there's also binge eating, where you're not eating because you're inspired to eat, you're eating to escape yourself or to stuff shit down. You're running away from this and your escape is food. For me, food is like one of my number one escapes, by the way. That's why if you guys even look in terms of me going through the media scandal, I got pretty heavy after. Um, so there's the, the desperation of eating. Now, the solution that you know, most people in society have, um, and this is kind of the world we live in, including with fapping, is we just shame it. You know, fat shaming, fap shaming, <laughs> you know? It's like, don't fap. It's like, there's the shaming. But in reality, it's like, and this is why shaming never works. And this is why the PC thing is, is bad. And people who shame PC is also bad too. It's that you think, okay, someone's eating, they're binge eating. And that's, you know, one of the reasons out of many, they could be a little bit obese. You think that by shaming them, they'll stop it. But in reality, by shaming them, you're just adding more shit to hate about themselves to run away from. So it's just making shit way worse. In reality, we need a more empathetic approach that gets to the cause, that addresses all this stuff you might hate about yourself or you're running away from, so that then you're just left with the inspiration. You no longer need to use it as a form of escaping. Get rid of what you're running away from, now you no longer need to escape. And this could be anything, by the way. You know, inspiration, desperation, it's all what's inspiring you to do it. Someone who's like a self-help junkie who just can't stop, there's desperation, self-help, inspiration, self-help. Someone who's like always just watching TV shows, that's their form of escapism. And there's two ways. You can suppress it all, get say, oh, I'm done completely, or get to the real cause. Now, just force yourself to do it, as I said, could be a good stepping stone if you just lost control. But it doesn't make it permanent. You gotta address all that stuff you don't like inside of you. Okay? Make sense? Yeah. But yeah. But I always find it funny to read about no fab. I haven't fapped in 30 days. Yay! <laughs> 70 days. Yeah.
Fapping's good. The, as I said, the porn thing can be different. I don't know if I'm a big fan of like just porn all the time. Um, that'll fuck with your brain. But the fapping, hell yeah. <laughs> fap away. And next time you fap, think of me. <laughs> now it's too late. Now you're fucked. You will. There, there's your motivation to never fap again. The next time you fap, don't think of me.